to, I'm just imagining, I think I read somewhere where you spent, what, about half a million dollars in your education. <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I have two, I have a college degree and two postgraduate degrees. Um, I've had a successful career, and that was something that really concerned us early on, reputational risk. Right. Would, we, would we forever be tainted by going into this industry? And so that, we left that risk you know, two or three years ago. We got, we got over that. What did your parents think? Did they get over that? Are you leaving a really good job? You've invested a lot in your education, right. and you're doing what? That uh, certainly wasn't the career path they expected <laughs> from me. Um, they're, they're older. They're, they're 80, 81 years old. Yeah. They sort of missed the whole 60s revolution. They were older than that. And so it was, a, it was an interesting conversation, but, but even they had friends uh, who um, had used medical cannabis for, for a legitimate reason. And so they were able to wrap their arms around it and understand it. And Brendan, people, investors have wrapped their heads around it, and they've given you money. So how much money do you have to play with, and what kind of companies are you finding to invest in? Sure. So we uh, we closed $7 million in July. Mm -hmm. um, at some point this summer, we'll go out and raise not, not more than $50 million, but probably not that much less to invest in legal com companies uh, in the U.S. and in Canada, around the world. For medical and recreational. For medical and recreational. Um, in the U.S., we won't touch the product, so we won't prescribe it, we won't grow it, we won't package it um, or distribute it. But in Canada, one of our subsidiaries um, has a product called Tilray, um, and that's the brand. And so we're in the process of getting a license from Health Canada. So we'll have a license from the federal government there to produce, process, uh, package, and distribute cannabis uh, across Canada to valid uh, Canadian medical cannabis patients. We mentioned the ruling about banks offering accounts and other services to businesses where medical or recreational pot sales are, are legal. Is that a big, is that a good thing? You want to see kind of that momentum. It's, it's progress. It's not the progress that we were all hoping for. Um, banking has been a significant issue for us in the United States. Um, it hasn't been a problem in Canada, but in the U.S. it has. Uh, we've been kicked out of two banks, one national bank, uh, and every time it's, it's a long process.